The Institute of Robotics and Mechatronics at DLR has a long tradition in developing multi-fingered hands, creating novel mechatronic concepts, as well as autonomous grasping and manipulation capabilities. The range of hands spans from a first two-fingered gripper for space applications, to the highly anthropomorphic awiwi hand and variable stiffness end effectors. In 1993, during the Spacelab D mission, DLR performed the Rotex experiments to test for the first time a multi-axis robot in space. Rotex used a two-fingered gripper to autonomously capture a free-floating object using its torque and proximity sensors. Following up on this experiment, DLR developed Hand 1, with a size close to the human one, using a modular concept that included the actuation into the hand body. It had four identical fingers with three D of each, and was endowed with position, torque, and tactile sensors. It was used mainly to demonstrate teleoperation using force feedback. DLR created Hand 2 to improve hand reliability and performance, moving from tendon to belt-driven actuation and changing the thumb base to obtain more natural grasps. After almost 20 years of operation, this hand is still used in the Roland Justin humanoid robots, both for teleoperation and autonomous tasks, such as playing the piano or performing activities of daily living. The hand is controlled using the object level impedance framework, which naturally considers the internal forces arising during grasping actions. In 2014, DLR started the development of a hand for a multi year mission in geo orbit. The mechanical design was robustified with respect to Hand 2, mainly considering extended part performance, radiation tolerance, and thermal control. In contrast to previous versions, this hand did not use self contained fingers, which increased its final length. However, the redesign of the thumb in particular led to a much better grasping behavior. With the previous developments, it was clear that robustness against impacts was a major requirement, as hands are the most exposed part in a robot. DLR created the humanoid robot David, designed for physical human-robot interaction through variable stiffness actuation, where each joint can independently tune its own stiffness. Anthropomorphism was a key feature, which led to the very robust Awiwi hand, using tendon-driven antagonistic actuation that can absorb unexpected impacts and provide high grasping forces. The hand has a human level of grasping performance, being able to replicate all the positions of the main grasping taxonomies, and can impart in-hand motions according to the intended task. Although Awiwi provided excellent functionality, its complexity, maintenance, and control effort and cost needed to be reduced to move toward applications in industrial scenarios. DLR created then the Clash Hand, with three fingers and using servomotors as actuators, and with variable stiffness actuation, which nicely allows it to grasp delicate objects such as fruits and vegetables without damaging them. The hand is also well-suited for human-robot interaction and was integrated recently into the EDAN assistive robot for performing everyday tasks. In order to move toward more efficient performance, DLR created the hybrid compliant gripper based on the thumb modules of the Clash hand. This gripper allows multiple grasping modalities, including two-finger and suction grasping, thus combining the best of the two main technologies for product gripping in industry. Robotic hands need to be as reliable, simple, and cost-effective as possible while providing the necessary capabilities and performance. Keeping the requirements of the hands in sync with the maturity of grasping abilities is the key to develop robots that can manipulate objects like the human archetype.